a demo that I do when I'm introducing living systems or um, how to classify something as living or not. And what I do is I usually block off um, this so the students can't see it and all they can see is the projection on the screen. So I believe you're getting both through this video. So I have a glass petri dish um, and sometimes that's a good discussion alone just with kids like what is a petri dish? Um, so <laughs> if they've never seen one before um, and then I fill it with some water um, to create an in oops I'm low on water here which is kind of a fun effect on the screen anyway um, but you fill it uh, so the whole bottom is covered so at least halfway um, that should be plenty the whole idea is you want the whole bottom covered in water okay and then I'll just make sure that's in focus there there we go Okay, and then I'm going to place, again, the students wouldn't see this, but I'm going to drop a uh, living organism in here, and I have a little container covering it up, um, and it's a little vial of this stuff. Sorry, it's stuck. Um, there we go. So, there it comes. All right, I'm going to undo this, and so all I'm doing for the teacher side, I'm putting one drop of this in there, and for the students, they'll get the effect on the screen of that. Um, and so you can see it moving around. So the students start a discussion about what is it doing? What's happening? Um, what are, you know, do you think it's living or not? And, and you know, the students literally generate the questions and the ideas about this. Um, and then for fun, you can um, add other stuff to this. And I say I'm adding food. Um, and what I'm actually doing is adding some pencil shavings from a sharpener. Um, and I put those in there, just little pieces. Um, sometimes smaller or better, um, and you can see if it goes towards them or picks them up. Um, bring it more to focus again. There we go. And they start to slow down after a little while. So sometimes I'll add a friend in there for them. Um, so put another drop in there. Um, oops, there it goes. Um, so you can see it moving around. Um, and some of them will stop moving. Some of them will. You can poke them, you know, with anything. You gotta be careful when you poke them though, because you get these little strings coming off of them that they move around a little bit. There they go. Um, so are they reacting to each other? What's going on? Occasionally they'll stick together. Um, if you use a bigger drop, it makes a huge one, which I think I have enough to do that. Um, so I can get a bigger one. Oh, I just made three, four. There we go. <laughs> so it's just kind of a fun activity. Some of those are going to be way bigger than the other ones, but now there's a nice cluster of them um, that you can get a good effect in there. Um, and then, so after all the discussions with the class, you can get into the idea of how can you classify something as living or not. And most of the students are going to be like, that is a living organism because it's moving, you can see it has structure, it's responding to its environment, doing all these other things, and in some cases they think they see them mating when they're stuck together. <laughs> um, but what this is for at home, um, or for teachers that are designing this, I use, uh, it's called Duco Cement, um, and it is a, 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 a glue basically, um, but it is hydrophobic, so it it's, uh, doesn't uh, mix with the water, and it actually, if you can see this better, I don't know if you can see it with that camera, but um, it's actually, the glue is hardening and it dries over time, and that's why it stops reacting and moving around as fast. Um, but you, it takes a little bit of practice getting a couple drops in there, because occasionally you'll get strings or tails coming off um, that attach to different parts of the, the petri dish, so sometimes a bigger petri dish or just using your finger to, to block it off. But it's a great um, lab to introduce or to get students talking about living systems and what classifies something as living or not. So there's that one. That's awesome, okay. thank you. You're welcome. That's always been one of my favorites.